Hello, hello! Today I am excited to show you how to achieve a stunning color transfer effect for images and videos using Python. So grab your coffee or tea, get comfy and let's dive in. In our previous episodes we set up our virtual environment. Now we just need to activate it and we are good to go. I will demonstrate two different techniques to achieve color transfer in Python. The first technique is super easy, because it uses a built-in function from the scikit image package. Let's get started. We need to import all necessary packages and first let's read the source and reference images. Next let's display these images using matplotlib, as usual. If you saw my previous episodes, so you already familiar with these steps. Now we can easily apply the color transfer using the match histograms function from the SK image exposure module. Let's save the result to a new variable and display it. Super easy, right? This function does exactly what its name suggests. It matches the histograms of the RGB channels of the source image to those of the reference image. You can experiment with this function using your own images. While it may not work perfectly for every case, it's a great approach to try out. Now I will show you how to transfer colors from an image to a video using OpenCV. Let's create a new Jupyter notebook and get started. We need a small helper function to read the first frame from a video. OpenCV reads images in blue, green, red format by default, so we convert it to RGB using CV convert color function. Let's check if our function works. In this step, we read the first frame from the Blade Runner clip that I have. Now let's define a function to perform color transfer between two images. We will implement a custom method for this. The color transfer function converts the source and reference images to lab color space, computes the mean and standard deviation of the lab channels for both images, normalizes the source image using its own statistics and then adjusts it using the reference images statistics, clips the lab values to ensure they are within valid ranges, converts the adjusted lab image back to RGB color space. Let's test the function with two different frames. The result is just fantastic. I am amazed that this lets me process frames automatically without the need for any manual input. Finally, let's extend this method to work on a video. Video is essentially a sequence of images, frames, that change over time. We will use OpenCV to read and write videos. So in this function, the first step is to open a video. Then we retrieve frame, width, height, frames per second and total frame count. Next we set up the video writer to save the output video. And after that we process frames. We need to read each frame, convert it from BGR to RGB, apply color transfer to match the reference images colors, convert back to BGR and write to output video. And in the end we need to release resources. That's it. Call the function to apply color transfer to the entire video. This process may take some time. Once it's done, you will have a new video file with the color transfer effect applied. And that's it for today. Amazing, right? We have successfully learned how to transfer colors for images and videos using Python. This fully automated process doesn't require any manual fine tuning of colors. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more exciting content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.